Hey everybody, it's Jaya, and this is part two to a question that I got about how to reignite passion in a relationship like they had at the beginning. And boy, I could talk about this for hours and hours, but I wanted to give the six step process that I take couples through when I'm working with them. The first part of the process is really understanding your own erotic map and your own erotic blueprint. How are you aroused? How are you turned on? What's the language you need to speak erotically? It's similar to the love languages by Gary Chapman, only it's your own arousal language, your, your own erotic language. So that's called your blueprint breakthrough. So it's your erotic map. The second step is really getting effective communication. I talked about this in, in part one of this video, really learning how to effectively communicate, really learning how to hear each other and how to talk about sex. I mean, we have so much shame about sex and things we don't talk about, and that is like poison in the relationship. So we need to squeeze all the poison out with some great communication for connection. The third step is all about creating frequent fulfilling sex. And so in this step, it's about not just more sex, it's about the quality of the sex that you're having. So that frequent fulfilling sex really is about practices. It's about learning how to prioritize. We all, the biggest excuse I get is oh, we're just too busy. We have three kids. We have this going on. We have that going on. We don't have time for our relationship. You got to create time. We make time. It's not that time is this thing that's just out of our control. We can make our own time. You can create it. The next step is really creating irresistible magnetic attraction. And I think this is really what this question is about, is that there seems to be this loss of magnetism and attraction over time. And that comes down to polarity. We need this opposites attract piece. It's like two magnets. If the sides are the same pole, they repel each other. If they're opposites, they then can really have hot attraction when their opposite poles come, come together. So we need some polarity. Needing you to, another thing that creates irresistible magnetic attraction is dating with the passion trifecta, which is mystery, obstacle, novelty, and naughtiness. We have this myth that it, emotional closeness or intimacy or living our lives together creates attraction, and it's actually not true. I mean, if you think about every hot attraction, we have mystery, there's obstacles to overcome, there's some novelty or there's naughtiness or rule breaking going on. And that's really important. Those are some of the keys to creating ir irresistible magnetic attraction. The next piece is thriving sexual vitality. This is the fifth step. And so if your hormones are off, if you are struggling with diet or something is not right in the health, in the, your health field, it's really hard to ignite a lot of passion because if your health is poor, the last thing you're thinking about is sex and attraction for most people. They're just trying to get through the day. They're trying to manage pain. They're trying to get through like, I just don't feel well, or I have chronic fatigue, or I'm tired, or I'm exhausted. So we gotta boost your vitality, get your vitality up, get your energy up, get you living life by your values versus this whole default mode where we don't feel good because we, we aren't taking good care of ourselves. So self-care is a really important piece here. And then the final step is advanced skills and erotic secrets. And what I mean by that are just having some mad, awesome Jedi Knight superhero skills in the bedroom that take it to the next level. Things you didn't know were even possible, like having multiple orgasms or having non-ejaculatory orgasms or being able to take somebody through an orgasmic experience without even touching them. I had a client write to me, he sent me a text one day and he said she had nine orgasms last night and six were before I even got her panties off. So that is possible. <laughs> so it's about really exploring what's possible and gaining the skill sets to take someone there or take yourself there and that's one of the things that helps reignite the passion, doing things that are out of your box, doing things that are on your edge, playing with taboo. And that's all in that last step, really gaining the skills to be able to do that. All right, that's my six step process. Until next time, fill your life with pleasure.